Hey guys, welcome back and today I'll be sharing with y'all um, the process of getting a tattoo. So before I start, remember to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Um, yeah, okay, let's go. First things first is you have to decide on what design you want. You want words or you want um, pictures, uh, animation, characters or what. You just have to figure out what you want first. So after you're sure on what tattoo you want to get, then you can head on to social media platforms to look for tattoo parlors that um, that houses tattoo artists which have similar style, similar styles to the design that you want. Because um, some tattoo artists don't don't really do like I don't know col color tattoos or you can do your research and you can look at the tattoo artist um their artwork so that you can compare you know like you can compare and make sure that they will be able to produce what you want on you okay after you have confirmed like whichever tattoo parlor you plan to do it at th to do it. <laughs> To do the tattoo ad, then you can straight. You can DM them or PM them, and then uh, you can just roughly tell them like, what is the, where is the place that, that you want the tattoo to be, and what is the size. I mean, takai takai aga aga roughly, so that they can um, quote an amount for you to prepare. Uh, most tattoos are the small ones. Are, I mean, most of the tattoo parlors that I asked before I got my tattoo was they quoted around um, 150 to 200. I mean, for one lah, for one tattoo, about 150 to 200. Some they quote 250. So it really depends on which tattoo parlor you go to and the size of your tattoo. After you have get your quotation and you have enough money to go along with it, then you can make an appointment with them. For me, I didn't I didn't do the walk in. I because I had a lot of questions to ask, and yeah, I DM them a lot, talk to them a lot, and I they were very nice. They gave me advice and they answered all my questions. So. Um, I felt more reassured before I went for the appointment, right? So that anyways, um, because they will quote you on the pricing of the tattoo, then if you have the amount ready, like you have the cash ready already, then you can straight away set an appointment with them. You can set an appointment with them and then you can wait for the time to come and go for the appointment. Right. Another thing I need to highlight is, especially for first timers, right? Um, if you want wording tattoos or any tattoos, lah, it's best that you get the image, like the image. How do you say this? Mm, they needed the words not on someone else's body. Like it has to be, I don't know, a clean background, like not tattooed on someone else. Yeah, so it's a bit, I was a bit surprised lah because I didn't know how tattooing works, right? So, if you have any tattoos that you want to do, it's best that you can get a tattoo, tattoo, you can get a tattoo design with a plain background because that will make the work easier for the tattoo artist to do. The tattooing right so okay after you've made the appointment and your appointment day is here <laughs> okay so there will probably be a lot of nerves and probably some excitement as well um i was very nervous like my appointment was at 2 i think 2 30 i was there like at 1 1 30 i was 30 minutes earlier <laughs> So yeah, um, yeah, and then our, I have no idea what step is this, but 
like I mentioned earlier, because the tattoo that I showed them, it was on someone else's body. So they couldn't... They couldn't proceed yet. We couldn't proceed yet with going straight to the tattooing. We had to... Um, look for the fonts instead because... We can't tattoo... I mean, the at least is. I mean, this is on the parlor that I went to, okay? We, they couldn't tattoo the tattoo that I want, which is already on someone else's, bo someone else's body, so yeah. After we got the design and the alignment done, they had to print it out. Print it out and then, you know all those, um, when we were younger, there were a lot of all those sticker tattoos, which will peel off in like 2-3 days. So yeah, they... They printed that out and don't know do what to it and then they stick it at my arm <laughs> they stick it at my arm then they asked me like is the I mean my tattoo artist asked me like is the alignment alright do you want it bigger and whatnot so then we did that like twice then after that I got the size and the alignment right then we went straight to setting I mean not we the tattoo artist went straight to setting up the place and sterilizing it make sure very important note is to make sure that your tattoo artist always uses a new needle when they are tattooing you because it's hygiene Hyg hygiene is very important now, okay um so yeah after she set up then i was asked to sit there sit there then she started doing the tattoo on the front first so the fascinating thing is um I'm not sure how other tattoo studios do this, but this is what I experienced, okay? So I'm just sharing with you all so that you all know what to expect. If you want to expect. <laughs> then we head straight to sitting and tattooing and inking. So, uh, the inking, right. So I, the inking process wasn't too bad. It was very fascinating to see a video will be playing here yeah a video will be playing here so watch it oh no I think I'm gonna flinch so um hold on okay what are you doing hey it reminds me of needles yeah I mean it's needles <laughs> Yeah, I mean, technically that is the process of how I got the tattoo from A to Z. But um, so after she was done tattooing, uh, most tattoo artists would take pictures of their artwork. Their hard, I don't know, <laughs> their hard work or their design or the tattoo that they have done on, done for you. So um, my tattoo artist snapped a few pictures of both tattoos and then and then yeah she helped me with the right <laughs> the tattoo parlor I went to um, the aftercare was a bit different because they didn't provide me any cream for the aftercare but I don't know like, what was I saying uh? ah because I googled before like the aftercare process so then I saw that a lot of people a lot of tattoo parlors they give creams for you to apply daily i think so i was expecting to do that as well for my tattoos but um i'm not sure if this applies to all tattoo parlors but like the tattoo parlor that i went to they just uh gave me a okay so after my tattoo was done they just sticked uh sticked they sticked a sticker transparent sticker which is waterproof and it will help to protect and heal the tattoo yeah 
So yes, I had that on for like... I was supposed to have it on for 7 days, but uh, I did it for 10 days. I left it on for 10 days. And then after that, I took it out. And that was done. So actually, the process is pretty... If you are not a person who overthinks and have a lot of questions and you just want to get the tattoo done, uh, it should be very quick. <laughs> but if you are like me, uh, contemplating like, uh, do I really want to do this? Do I have enough money for this? And are you really sure that you want to do this? Those kind of questions. If you have those kind of questions, it's very normal. I would say it's very normal. Um, I first asked around about uh, like the quoting for the price. For the tattoo that I want, I first started asking around in 2018. Yeah, I started asking the tattoo parlors, tattoo shops, tattoo studios back in 2018. But I finally had the courage to do it this year. But if you really want to do um, to get tattoos, uh. Do think twice because it's going to be on your body permanently and you don't want to have any um, regrets. Yeah. So yes, please do think twice before you decide on um, getting a tattoo and where you're going to put it, which part of your body you're going to tattoo it. Because yes, it's... Like I said, it's going to be with you forever and ever until you're old and wrinkly. So, that's all for today and take care, stay safe, and see you soon.